Hello folks, my name is Leah Cooper here and today I'm bringing you my partial November TBR. So there's kind of a lot of pages going on this TBR. I have no idea how much I'm actually going to get read. However, because I'm going to be doing NaNoWriMo and that's where most of my focus is going to be. As I mentioned in my October wrap up, I just don't read as much when I'm writing a lot, but I have a few things out from the library. Actually, I have, a, I have quite a few things out from the library, so I want to try to get them read before I have to return them, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Tone Topple Round 5 is also going to be happening in the last two weeks of the month, and I do want to read at least one book for that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to read, so there will be a TBR for that sometime closer to when it starts. <laughs> Let's just get started. So the first thing... I have to get read and I have started it. I started it this morning, but I'm only like 50 pages into it. it is Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. So this was like on my autumn readathon TBR, but I only got to like two books off that. So I do have to return this by November 6th though, which means I have like nine days to get it read. And I was on a waitlist for this book for over a month. So I have to get it read or I won't be able to get my hands on it again. And I mean, so far it's, it's fine. It's like an MM historical romance adventure novel. I read a lot of those to be honest. So yeah, it's my jam. Uh, the other thing is I, I think it will be pretty quick to read ultimately because even though it is 500 pages, there are not a whole lot of words on the page. Like this, the interior layout of this book is done like a middle grade novel. It's kind of hilarious. There's that. The other thing, I have to return to the library by November 6th. And again, huge waitlist on this book. I think I've been on the waitlist for this for like five months is The Power by Naomi Alderman. Um, because I put this on hold way back before the Bailey winner was announced. Like when it was on, when it was shortlisted, I had it on hold. So I've been waiting for a while and I do want to get it read. And then the other thing I have out from the library, but this does not have any holds on it and I have it until the 20th or something, is When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore. A bunch of people have been reading this lately on booktube. I glanced at the YA section the last time I was physically inside the library and I just happened to see it and so I decided to grab it because I love me some small town contemporary magical realism. I did start reading this in October. I got about 50 pages into it but then I had to put it down to read, I think, The Tethered Mage. Um, and I was enjoying it. I thought it was pretty interesting. And it's pretty short. So, yeah, there's that. And then I have one book out from Overdrive, which is called Lovecraft Country by Matt Ruff. I can't remember what this book is nominated for. Possibly World, the World Fantasy Award or something? It's nominated for some award. I thought the shortlist looked really interesting, but this was the only book off that shortlist that I could find at my library. And not even at my library, it, it's only available on Overdrive. So I decided to put a hold on it and I'll give it a go. It's another, like, like I said in my wrap up video, there's like a serious Lovecraft revival happening right now in speculative fiction. So this is just another, um, I think this is one that might be a retelling of one of his books confronting the just terrible racism in his books. I think that's what this about what this is about. I think it has um, African American protagonists dealing with like the really shitty people in Lovecraft's written works. I don't know a whole lot about it. But yeah, it's nominated for some award that I can't remember and I decided to read it. So um, yeah, we'll pick that. I should, pr I will probably be picking that up. I've only got like two weeks left before my hold on, or my loan on it expires though. So we'll see. And then the last thing I do want to get to, but I might save this for Tome Topple is The Glass Town Game by Catherine M. Valente. I've had this book for two months and I still haven't read it. And I've put it on so many TBRs and I still haven't read it. I just, I, I don't think I'm going to be checking out any more library books between now and the end of the year. Like I've got those four that I just mentioned. I'm going to read those and then like no more library books. I'm just going to try to read some of the stuff that I own because deadline uh library due dates just keep creeping up on me so anyways i do really still really want to read this i want to read it this month i really want to review it 
So either I will try to get it read before Tome Topple or it is over 500 pages so I could always read it for Tome Topple. I think this is why I laugh a little bit at this book because they're the same size hardcovers. They're approximately the same number of pages. This is a middle grade book by the way and when I look at the size of the, the interior layout they're using a similar font not an identical font but the size and the interline spacing is the same which means the layout for this book is the same as a middle grade book and that's why I laugh because really this book should be like 50 to 100 page, pages shorter than it is but whatever bulks up the monthly page count right so anyways those are the things that i am going to be trying to get to in the month of november or at least the first half of the month of november let's see if i can do it i don't know let me know if you've read any of these or if you're planning on picking them up and what is the book you are most looking forward to reading in November and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.